There are bazillions of miles of unexplored waters on our blue planet, and most of them have things living in them that we can only imagine. Or perhaps we don't want to. It's pretty spooky down there. From aliens stretching beneath the waves to eyeballs of extreme proportions washing up on the shore, here are 20 most unexplained things found in the ocean. Number 20. Boeing B-17, Calvi's famous underwater airplane wreck. There are a few wrecks along the coast of Corsica. It's a massively popular place for divers, and these wrecks give you some indication why. This particular wreck is of a B-17 bomber from the Second World War. These legendary flying fortresses were an incredibly important part of the United States Air Force's fleet during that conflict. These big, heavy-duty planes had four engines, 13 machine guns, and could travel almost 2,000 miles in one trip out. This particular B-17 didn't make it back, though, and while wound up 88 feet below the surface of the Mediterranean Sea. The aircraft was engaged by a group of German fighter planes and lost three machine guns with only two engines still running and it tried to make it to land, falling just short and pilots were forced to put her down on the water. Only six out of the ten crew would actually survive. Located just off the coast of Corsica, right by the old city of Cali, this plane stands as a reminder of the war that raged in the area back in the 1940s, and it's now also home to a plethora of sea creatures and plant life. The wreck is slowly disintegrating, and with parts now missing, it's possible to view inside of the aircraft easily, as long as you don't mind sharing the space with a bunch of eels and groupers, that is. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. So what in the world is going on here? Did these fishermen find something extra special? This lucky fisherman caught something incredible. Are they retrieving an alien from the sea? Or is this an oversized crustacean, some sort of trick of the light? If this is a real image of a real catch, then we're likely all in trouble and should probably refrain from paddling in the sea from now on, lest we be eaten by a big old shrimp. Anyways, as always, be sure to let me know what you think all about this latest crustacean craziness in the comments section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Alien-like creature. And here it is. We finally have definitive proof of aliens. Well, maybe. This is actually some underwater footage of something that appears to be a squid of some description. Although, of course, I have no real evidence that it's not an alien. So you go ahead and have a good look at the footage for yourself and let me know what it actually is. It starts off as a strange shape, which does not appear to be especially similar to anything else. And then it transforms into that squid-like animal. But just because the shape it begins as is not instantly recognizable, does that really really mean that it's an alien? There are so many unknown things down beneath the ocean that we currently know only a fraction of what actually goes on down there. So, if aliens were to be up to secret stuff on planet Earth, it would probably be a really good location to do it. The whole thing's being filmed by an ROV, or remotely operated vehicle, at a depth of 3,753 feet in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were an alien, transforming or whatever, then I would definitely be doing this in the Indian Ocean. It's the best of oceans after all. Number 18. Black Sea Devil this one is a very creepy sea creature, and they have some very scary adaptations to match their creepster vibes as well. Anglerfish are found in seas all over the world, living in deep waters, mostly near the seafloor, so they're amongst those odd creatures that have their own source of luminescence that they use in the weird fleshy thing that dangles out of the top of their heads. This thing is their lure that they use to attract prey, like an angler with a fishing line, you see. Anglerfish are really 
efficient hunters, and they not only have a whole bunch of extremely unpleasant sharp and pointy teeth, but they've also got an absolutely gargantuan mouth. The anglerfish's massive mouth extends the entire circumference of their head, and it can also be extended to such a colossal width that these scary sea dwellers can swallow prey that's twice their size. Number 17. Mysterious Underwater Obelisks at the Opposite Side of the Great Pyramid of Giza Google Earth, well, it's allowed us to see the world in completely new ways. It's given us the opportunity to act like total creeps or even be jerks to our neighbors by mowing rude messages into our lawns. It's apparently also opened up a whole bunch of doors for crazy conspiracy theories that now have even more evidence since they can see everything so clearly via satellite imagery. Aren't we just lucky? Today, we're going to take a mercifully brief look at some nonsense about some obelisks. What were meant to believe here is that there are some mysterious underwater obelisks that are directly below the Great Pyramid of Giza, as if that's significant somehow. Then there's a whole load of old guff about the earth being hollow or some BS like that, followed up with the obelisks being some kind of markers in order to access a door into the earth. <laughs> right then. It goes on like this for ages, waffling away about hollow earth theory, about active energy devices and crystals, oh, and UFOs and aliens, naturally. By the way, anyone can make a website and write anything that they like on it, just so you know. Go ahead and give me an absolute hell in the comments down below. I know, I know, I'm just a jerk. Number 16. Ice Finger of Death since the 1960s, scientists have been aware of a phenomenon that they call Antarctic brinicles. Sounds cheeky, but bear with me. These brinicles are actually the name that's given to these finger-like structures that are formed beneath floating sea ice in the frozen waters of Antarctica. They're also much more dramatically known as ice fingers of death. But that might just be to make it all sound a bit more interesting and cool. Anyways, despite having known about these structures for a long time, scientists had never before actually seen the way that they were formed as they actually occurred. But that's all changed with all the lovely new technologies that everyone has available these days. There are now ways to view the formation of brinicles in real time, and boy is it an absolute thrill. These icy fingers, as it turns out, will only form under specific conditions, and this makes them super tricky to track, but also really difficult to capture on film. So the fact that the BBC's Frozen Planet series managed to capture footage of it actually happen is much more exciting and unusual than it might sound. It's also surprisingly spooky to watch. But what do you think? I kind of like it, especially how it seems to be kind of insanely cruel and unusual to any creature that happens to get caught in its path. Sucks to be a starfish. Number 15. Trains Wreck the spooky sight of two lost locomotives in the water, about five miles off the coast of New Jersey, has given local history people a new mystery to ponder. Just how this patch of sea became the final resting place for a couple of trains from the 1850s is quite the head-scratcher. There are a couple of theories. Either the two steam trains were being transported when they accidentally ditched into the sea, or they were deliberately pushed into the water, perhaps to prevent the vessel transporting them from sinking or capsizing. There was certainly never any railway all the way out at sea. The locomotives are well preserved as they sit 90 feet below the surface. They have sustained a lot of rust, which you would expect after 160 years sitting deep underwater, but their forms remain and they're still of interest as examples of steam engines of this era. Oddly though, they're both alongside one another on the seabed, sat upright as if pulled into a station together. Number 14. Flying Spaghetti Monster and now for something completely silly. The so-called flying spaghetti monster. Yes, that's what people actually call it, and apparently it has some fans as well. These images come from oil riggers who work in deep waters and have managed to capture this rarely seen creature on camera. They then pass the footage on to the National Oceanographic Center in Great Britain. The crazy looking creature really does resemble an upturned bowl of spaghetti, but this one uses all of its spaghetti appendages in order to catch and eat its prey. The funny looking spaghetti monster is actually a saphenophore, which 
which means, and this is freaky, that they're a colony of numerous genetically identical individuals. They cannot survive on their own, so they clump together into a tentacle blob. In order to eat or move, they have to work together, a bit like the Borg. Number 13. A shark statue is located underwater in a lake in Switzerland. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, some joker chucks a shark statue in there, and before you know it, you're right back in therapy. Oh, that's such a funny and hilarious prank, isn't it? A bloodthirsty shark waiting beneath the surface to scare you, quite possibly to actual death. And I thought Switzerland was supposed to be a place of sensible things like cuckoo clocks and chocolate and yodeling. But it might just finish off anyone who has a nervous disposition. One such lake in Switzerland Switzerland has been giving people a rather rude surprise in the murky depths of its waters. Someone with a wicked sense of humor has been mucking about with an especially toothsome shark statue, which looms and leers from deep below the surface. Now, if you're a little on the nervous side or suffer from a heart complaint, this could actually finish you off. So beware, there in the water, that it's just someone's idea of a rubbish joke. Or could it actually be the glint of an errant great white smile, grinning as it opens its jaws to devour you whole. Number 12. Huge miles long pyramid has been detected moving on the ocean floor. Boring! Why are all these people staring at Google Earth all the live long day? Go outside and touch the damned earth a little bit for yourself in person. Go on now, it'll be good for you. But if you do insist on imagining that literally everything can be seen from satellite images is the work of aliens, then go ahead and watch this and conspiracize your heart out. Now I know that's not a real word, but it absolutely should be. This thing is apparently a massive underwater pyramid-shaped geographical thing. Nobody has any real clue as to what it actually is, but that doesn't stop a whole bunch of crackpots throwing their theories about on the old interweb, now does it? Enjoy these images of boring underwater lines and shapes, if you will, then add your own ideas into the mix. Because why the heck not? Until we know anything more, here are some pictures and made up guff for you all. This thing has been likened to that of an old favorite of ours, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. The so-called Baltic Sea Anomaly is a geographical feature that's only actually visible on some fairly indistinct sonar images that were taken by a Swedish diving team way back in 2011. They were out there in the northern Baltic Sea doing some treasure hunting when they reviewed the images and concluded that what they had seen down there was an unusual object that they thought might have been a non-natural origin. The tabloids, never shy of potential aliens headlines, had a field day with intense speculation about it being a sunken UFO. But of course, there's no way that it might be what scientists have said, a boring old geological formation, or perhaps a big round rock. Number 11. World's Largest Deep Sea Octopus Nursery in the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean over two miles down below the surface, there's a remarkable thing that's going on. When scientists sent out an underwater remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, they saw something that nobody had ever seen before. Just off the coast of Monterey, California, they came across a rocky area of the seabed at the base of an underwater mountain, and on these rocks were hundreds and hundreds of octopuses. So many, in fact, that this is all just a little bit creepy, you know, like they're poised to do some mischief, or they're plotting some sort of evil world domination scheme. Whatever it may be, this was something that had never been witnessed by people before. The scientists would send their ROV on a bit of a mission after that first sighting, and there they discovered absolute masses of these creatures, dozens and dozens everywhere all over the rocky outcrop. Probably just being small octopuses, you know, busy growing and minding their own business, but it's still a bit weird to witness nonetheless. Number 10. Angels of the Sea well, these modest little creatures seem to have been saddled with a rather grand sort of name that really gives a rather more impressive idea of them than is perhaps justified. Sea angels, as it turns out, are a group of gelatinous sea snails. They are, however, rather pretty when they're doing their floating about, looking all wispy and such. These sea snails only grow to be between one and a half to three inches long, but they have really interesting anatomy. As far as these things go, and if, like ocean biologists, you happen to like that sort of thing. Otherwise, what makes these sea snails stand out is the way that they move in the water 
as if they had wings. They're translucent and reflect all the beautiful ethereal colors around them. And I concede, for a snail, they are at least a little bit angelic. Number 9. Zemchug Canyon there are all sorts of things under the sea that are bigger or even more weird or just more than the things that we have on the surface, and this place, well, it's one of those. The Zemchug Canyon is an absolutely gigantic underwater canyon that happens to be located in the Bering Sea one of the most unforgiving places on the planet. This canyon is the deepest of those that have been discovered underwater. It's also the widest. You have to wonder what the heck might be found down there. What sorts of weird and wonderful things might be lurking in this literal great abyss? It is 8,530 feet deep, and that makes it deeper than even the Grand Canyon, which for comparison, is a piddly 6,093 feet deep. It's so extreme that it simply outmeasures all the other biggest things on land and and under the sea. Other comparable underwater canyons pale when they are sat next to the massive credentials of this one. Because of its absurd measurements, the Zemchug Canyon has a volume of 5,800 cubic kilometers and an area of 11,350 square kilometers. These numbers are basically too big for my brain to imagine, so we should probably just accept that it's a colossal chasm in the deep cold sea and leave it at that. It's making my brain hurt just thinking about it. Number 8. Giant Jellyfish the Size of a Human Back in the summer of 2019, divers in the waters off the coast of Falmouth in the UK spotted an extremely rare and rather beautiful sight, a jellyfish that was the size of a human swimming alongside of them. Now, jellyfish are not that unusual along the beaches of the UK, but they are generally of the small and wobbly and washed up variety that gets poked at with a stick by every curious passing child. To see one of this size in its natural environment, and, well, still alive, well that was quite the experience for these diving people. This was a barrel jellyfish, which are the largest of the jellyfish species in the British coastal waters, but even so, it was an especially large example. They generally grow to be around 3.2 feet in length and weigh about 55 pounds, but the supersized one was as big as a human and all the more fascinating for it. Number 7. Turtle Graveyard Discovered on Sepadan Island in Malaysia by a dude who was in on his holiday, this is a rather macabre site and probably not one to make it into the holiday album. Or maybe some people like that sort of thing, I mean who am I to say? Basically the guy found a heap of dead turtles in an underwater cave, so that's rather disturbing. It seems as though they were not placed there in the traditional way of a graveyard, you know, after death, but rather they went into this cave, got stuck, and then died there. And it looks like like a rather lot of them made the same mistake. So it's very tragic and kind of not fun or very vacation-y to look at. The thing with these turtles is that although they do spend a long time underwater, they have to surface every once in a while to get air. This is a rather morbid situation, and these images are really going to stick in the old mind now, aren't they? Sorry about that. Shall we move on to something more jolly? Well, not more jolly as such, but there is a massive eyeball, so that's fun. Number 6. Giant Mysterious Eyeball a gruesome discovery was made by a man walking along a Pompano beach in Florida back in 2012. He came across the sight of a giant eyeball staring up at him from amongst the rocks and seaweed. No doubt that gave him the shivers in the very least and likely confirmed the sensation that he was indeed being watched. He handed the big old eyeball into the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and they set about the process of trying to identify the monster peeper. Apparently this is a bit tricky when there are no other clues to the identity of the owner. There were a few suggestions, such as it was that of a giant squid, which is believed to have the largest of all marine eyeballs in the area. But apparently this expert marine biologist down at the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute in St. Petersburg, Florida had other ideas when they received the eye. It seemed, they thought, upon first look, to be from a big tuna or another sizable fish of some sort. So that's reassuring then, but how an entire eyeball becomes disengaged from its owner and winds up staring at a dude on a beach, that's a bit of a puzzler. Perhaps it was the missing wink. Number 5. Faceless Fish 
All the way deep down in the darkest parts of the ocean, it's not really necessary to have all the things that one might need to function at more shallow or lighter depth. There are so many bizarre and unique creatures that dwell deeper down, so many in fact, that we likely haven't seen even half of them yet. Here's one that seems to have evolved for living in the utter darkness of Australia's eastern abyss. This is one of the deepest parts of the ocean that people have actually voyaged into, so it should come as no real surprise that there are some unusual things down there. This is where they discovered the faceless fish. It's only the second such specimen that's ever been found. The first one was discovered all the way back in 1873 off the coast of Papua New Guinea by the scientists on the research vessel HMS Challenger. But since then, no more had been witnessed by human eyeballs. But in a recent sea expedition, which was conducted by Australia's museums and Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, it was dubbed Sampling the Abyss. They happened upon another Another one of these creatures. It would be located all the way down at about two and a half miles below the surface in the dark. There's probably not really much need for all the stuff that's generally present in a face when you're functioning without light. It also has no nose and its mouth is located underneath of its body. The fish is fully adapted to living in the pitch black of the deepest oceans, but what else might be down there? The mind does boggle. Number four. Spanish Galleon San Jose being a treasure hunter is genuinely a bona fide job, although most of the time it's fraught with disappointment and is a generally underwhelming retrieval operation, rather than a movie-esque thorough caverns lined with glittering golden artifacts. But perhaps the thing that drives these treasure hunters onwards is the hope of a life-changing haul of loot glinting on the ocean floor. This team of treasure hunters from Florida were diving off of Florida's east coast when they came across the gold glittering in the shallow waters near Vero Beach. They were searching here as they had previously been lucky with a hall close by, but they never expected to find this gleaming cache of rare 18th century coin. Somewhat spookily, this treasure can be traced back to the wreckage of a fleet of ships that was voyaging through a treacherous hurricane on the exact same day 300 years previously. Coins found in the hoard included some extremely rare pieces known as Royal Eight Escudos. It was these in particular that made this find so very valuable indeed. The the discovery of 350 coins came to an astonishing total value of four and a half million dollars. Number three, Ocean Vents. The spooky sight of black smoke blasting from beneath the depths of the ocean could give you an inkling of being rather too close to a hell mouth, the smoke spewing from the furnaces of the underworld. Or maybe it's something a little less dramatic, I mean, who can really say? Some marine biologists have done some investigations and figured out what may cause these spooky smokes. They were first discovered in 1977 by Robert Ballard. Yeah, the same guy that finally found the Titanic. He discovered the first black smoker on the seafloor close to the Galapagos Islands at a depth of around six and a half thousand feet. They're found near areas of volcanic activity in places where the tectonic plates are moving apart. There are both white smokers and black smokers, and the colors depend on on the types of chemicals that are emitted by the particular hydrothermal vent. Although this phenomena spews out some fairly toxic stuff, they're also surprisingly adept at supporting a whole array of marine life. In fact, there is a school of thought in the scientific community that believes that all of life on Earth may have originated from hydrothermal vents. This is believed to be a similar thing on the moon of Jupiter beneath its ice cover. But what does it all mean? Well, you guessed it, it has to be aliens. because. It's it's always aliens. Number two, purple orb. A vessel of scientists went poking their noses into the waters off the coast of Santa Barbara in California, discovering something that seems to be brand new. Well, to human eyeballs at least. At a depth of about 5,000 feet below sea level, they discovered a purple orb, which upon closer inspection appeared to be some sort of gastropod. It seemed to have a proboscis and a foot, indicating that it is a sea slug of some description. But until they managed to pry it from the clutches of a crab that they could not quite see, what it 
was that they were dealing with. The purple creature was kind of globular and glowing, and both things were certainly intriguing and warranted a bit more probing. The thing looked, one of the scientists stated, like a disco ball. And who wouldn't want a nice snazzy disco ball to liven up their boring old research ship? So they used a litter vacuum device to get a hold of the creature and suck it into a storage container so they could give the whole exciting thing a jolly good investigation on the surface. What a fun one, but perhaps less so for the purple orb slug creature, one would imagine. Number 1. Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon all over the world, there are wrecks and remains of ships and such that have found their way to the bottom of the oceans, lakes, and rivers all throughout history. A veritable pile of trash in a lot of our most beautiful places. We as humans are always going around leaving ships all over the place. It seems that we've been doing it for all of time. But one of the eras in which humans most liberally dumped their boat-based garbage into the oceans was that of World War II. Ships were being torpedoed and sunk all over the show, from the Pacific Ocean ocean to the Red Sea, and there are remnants of that terrible conflict everywhere. Here we have a literal fleet of ships that's been left to sleep with the fishes on the bottom of the Truck Lagoon in Micronesia. There are literally hundreds of wrecks in this tiny area of the ocean during the Second World War. This lagoon was where Japan kept a lot of its imperial fleet, so when the Allied forces figured it out and rained down on the ships with Operation Hailstone, well, most of that same fleet found its way rather rapidly to the bottom of the sea. And and there it remains, slowly being reclaimed by the natural world beneath the waves. These days, it's one of the largest World War II dive sites on Earth, and that one raid alone would sink 50 ships and more than 250 aircraft. It lay undiscovered until the 1960s when Jacques Cousteau investigated the site and brought renewed interest to the area. Although some of the hundreds of bodies have been recovered and returned to Japan for burial, some still remain trapped within those wrecks. Creepy much? Well, there you have it. A bunch of things found in the sea, some of them more unexplained than others. Some of them, well, probably utter nonsense. Anyways, what did you think of all these deep sea shenanigans? And do any of them need further explanation? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.